Hi everyone, I'm Steve Owens and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Some days you wish you were someone else and some days you're just happy to be you. And that's one of those days today because I've got these wonderful soft bretzel buns here. I baked them myself this morning. They're delicious, they smell wonderful. Now I did a video earlier how to make bretzels or soft bretzels. Uh, you can get across and look at those. These are one of the most delicious breads. And I'm gonna show you today how to make a pretzel burger possibly one of the nicest burgers I've ever had. So let's get on and make them now. We'll start by preparing our beef patty. Uh, I've got some minced beef here, or hamburger I think the Americans call it, and this is just lean beef. And we're not really gonna add anything else into this other than seasoning, just some pepper, a ground black pepper, and a little bit of rock salt. And of course we're using good quality beef so it'll taste great anyway. We'll just mix that together, incorporate the salt and pepper into the meat. We're just going to get some baking paper or grease proof paper. Okay, at this point, just make sure your hands are nice and clean. We're gonna divide these patties up into four equal portions. And then what we want to do is push these beef patties down as flat as possible and using a palette knife or a knife of some sort, we're going to make these into squares. Now if you want, you could use two knives. I probably can do this with one. And we're looking to make a square about four inches or ten centimetres in size. And why am I doing them square? Well, I've seen this burger served square before and I just think it'd be fun to do it that way. And there are my square beef burgers there. They're all quarter pounders. I'm just going to slide this onto a board and then I'm just gonna set these in the freezer for a little while to firm up while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. Now, what's going into our bun? Well, we've got lettuce, uh, we've got tomatoes, and of course, red onion goes in there. I've got some sliced tasty cheese, that's a nice cheddar cheese, and of course, bacon. I've got streaky bacon here. This is going under the grill until it's nice and crispy. Now, it wouldn't be a traditional pretzel burger if you didn't have the soft pretzel bun. These are so good. They're salty and they're delicious and chewy. Now, I've put the video up before how to make these on my channel, but this time I've just done a standard bun shape and I've cut across in the top. Last time I made the traditional pretzel shape. Again, I've just put an egg wash on top of these, a little bit of salt sprinkled over the top and I've cooked them in the same manner. And I'm gonna need a sauce, so I'm going to take a tablespoon of a spicy mustard and a tablespoon of mayonnaise, and we're just gonna mix those two together. And there's our sauce sorted. Now I'm over on the griddle on the stove. You could easily do these on the barbecue, by the way. My burgers have uh, chilled up a little bit. I'll take a couple of those and pop them on there. Now I've also put a little oil on here just to stop them from sticking. And I've had a request for a toasted bun, so I'm gonna pop one of those on there just to grill off alongside the burgers. Now a good tip is to look at the edge of these burgers, and as you see uh, the cooked edge coming up about halfway, they're ready to turn. Don't keep turning them over and over. I'm not gonna overcook these. I like my burgers a little bit pink. So this one here is ready to turn now, and I think the front one as well. And I'm just gonna leave those on there until the pink has gone and they are ready to serve. And also my buns are toasted a little bit there now, so they're coming off. Now we're ready to assemble this pretzel burger. Uh, I've got my toasted burger there first. I'm gonna go burger, a couple of slices of crispy bacon, and then we get our square of cheese on there. A little bit of our beautiful mayo and mustard sauce. Now a few bits of red onion on there as well. My, this is looking good tomatoes or tomatoes as they may. I'm only gonna go for one of those, a little bit of lettuce on top. This is looking a heap of a burger. Now, will you look at that? There is my pretzel burger. I mean, this is just gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna put this other one together, then I'm gonna give one of these a try. And there is a finished pretzel burger. I've given you all the tools to make your own. Now I'm gonna give this one a try. <laughs> No way I'm gonna bite that on camera. I'm gonna save until you guys have cleared off. Look, please share the love, give the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. As always, I'll leave a link. I'll actually leave a link to those uh, pretzels or bread pretzels if you want to go and make them, and another link there as well. Uh, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and comment. Be good, see you next time.